we have number five. Sergey wrote down a list of numbers. The first number that he wrote down was 11. Each number after the first number is equal to two times the tens digit of the previous number plus three times the units digit of the previous number. So the second and third numbers Sergey writes are 5 and 15. What's the 23rd number that Sergey wrote? Now, we take the list we started 11, right? Now, how do we get to 5? It's two times the tens digit plus three times the ones digit, so that gives us five. Now we have to get to the 23rd number. So why don't we just keep going for a bit and see if we can find a pattern. Two times the tens digit plus three times the ones digit, and that gives us 15. So now we know how we got five and 15. Let's keep going, right? Two times the tens digit plus three times the ones digit, and that, that now gets us to 17. And then from 17, we get an even bigger number because we get all the way to 23. But from 23, if we go again, right, two times two, the tens digit, plus three times three, the, excuse me, units digit gives us 13. And then from 13, two times the tens digit plus three times the units digit gets us back to 11. So that means that our sequence repeats because once we get to 11, we know that the next one is five, right? So let's number our numbers. So the first number is 11, the second number is five, and so on and so forth. And this lets us find out that the next time that 11 appears in our sequence is the seventh number. So from the first to the seventh number, that's the same number. So every six terms, seven minus one, it repeats. So that means that the first number is equal to the seventh number, is equal to the 13th number, is equal to the 19th number. Now, that means that we know that the 19th number is equal to 11. Now we want to get to the 23rd number. So we just keep going after that. And since we know the sequence repeats, we can just continue after 11 with this initial pattern we found with 5, 15, 17, and 23. So that means that the 23rd number that Sergey wrote is actually 23. And that's our answer for target 5. Hey, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.